What's that over there? Ooh, it looks like a picnic. I love picnics. You know, my mother used to take me on picnics. I think I better get over there before the other ants in the neighborhood get the idea and take all the goodies. <laughs> hey, now, that's good food. They don't fool around when they go on a picnic. These are good people. Hey, Ed. Ah, uh, what's the matter? You lost, pal? I want to talk to you for a minute. As a matter of fact, I want to talk to you about your future. You know, you're talking to the wrong guy. I'm semi-retired. <laughs> you know, it takes 200,000 ants just to make a decent sandwich, and I'm having trouble with just one, and the day's half over. Hey, you know, speaking of the day half over, I got to get this pie back to my little pad before it spoils. OK, you ask for it. You try to talk nice to a guy, and he turns his back on you. So here goes. Coconut cream pie. You know how I know it's coconut? Because it's got a coconut in it, and it hurts. All right, Aunt, you better say uncle. You kind of overshot the landing strip there, buddy. OK, Aunt. I'm going to huff and puff and revise and inhale you out of house and home. Oh, man, there goes my heaven white furniture and my pretty little Persian rug and all my Tabasco sauce. With all the ants in the world, I gotta pick a kook. It's just work, work, work all the time. I mean, it just ain't easy lugging a picnic home. I sure wish they'd deliver. <laughs> this time, instead of going to him, I'll force him to come to me, or vice versa, whichever works best, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is a sight you won't see often. A grown aardvark making an anthill out of himself. I tell you, it's a good thing us puny ants are strong, because otherwise, we just have to eat little things. Work, work, work. Sometimes I think a picnic is more trouble than it's worth. You ever have the mumps? Well, I got the kind with seeds in it. And it's rough on the sinuses, believe me. You got to take it easy with bananas, because one little bump, and boy, you, you got yourself a bruised banana. <laughs> It's no use, Ant. You won't give me the slip. How do you like that? He gave me the slip. And I just told him not to. Today we storm Hill 90. Well, if he's gonna come in, I'm gonna get out. There ain't room in this Ant Hill for both of us. Even in the dark, I can find my way around these tunnels. What's this? I'll light a match and have a look. <laughs> look, how'd I know he'd have central heating? Hey, Ant, just to notify you, the odd box strikes again, even again, and again if necessary. No wonder he gets around so fast. He's got his own subway. Let's have a little light. On the second thought, I like the dog better. I know what I'll do. 
I'll smoke him out. It's the cheapest cigar I could find. Hey, what's the matter, pal? Didn't you read the warning on the package? Hey, can I do something for you, pal? Oh, yeesh. Make a wish for me. Wish I was dead. You know, I'm thinking of starting an anti-ant protest movement. It's time somebody put their foot down. Hey there, buddy. Be careful. You know the moral of this story? It's people who live near landmines should tread lightly. And I do mean lightly.